hi there it's tanya from tatty's treasures hello and welcome back to returning subscribers and hello to any new subscribers it's nice to have you here let's make sure we all in frame so i'm back today with um another one of the the bases now I printed loads of these out. I think I printed some out last year. I printed some out this year. And I have used these quite a lot. They're from a kit um, from Tracy Fox. I can't remember what it's called. But it, it is um, just these. You get several pages of these. Um, so I think, yeah, you'll get four to a page. So I always cut them in this too. And I keep them like that. And if I want to use one as a, just as a journal card, I will then uh, just cut it down. But I keep them in two because you can do so many different things with them. And I've noticed some of them I have printed out. So some of them are plain. Let me, why I'm chattering. So I thought we could have a look at the different things that we can do with them. And I do the same with... Um, postcards when you get um, a kit with two postcards together or just two journal cards and I also sometimes just join two things together with some um, decorators paper um, or I've done it with material and you know I'll just glue them together and then you've got like a booklet type thing so I've got, how many have I got here? Four. Right, so I'll do the first one with four. I've got everything that I want um, on my mat because I must keep putting the mat on my table. Um, I start off um, doing something and then I'm like, oh, I've not put my mat on. So I must get back into the habit of getting everything on my mat and then, then we've got everything. So, I have gone out my Tim Holtz um, field note stamps, so I'll pop them to the side. Just got a bit of lace out, um, crochet trim. I've got some of the little Tim Holtz um, slots. I've got an odd corner pocket, and that's all I could find. I feel like I've got more of those, but I just cannot find them. Um, I've got some glassine bags. And I've got some glassine envelopes and the lovely Heather sent me these so thank you very much and she sent them me in two different sizes and I've just had a look at them and uh, the larger size didn't fit but this smaller size just fits these perfect so I've got those out um, I've got some circle little stamps and I think I got these from in love art shop so I've got those um, I've got some die cuts of ferns and things and a lot of them are really squashed together so I do need to get some of those used um, and I've got my gathered twigs ink I will probably use my stays on um, and I do have it in a green and a brown so let's have a look at these first now I think first I'm going to make sure they're all cut nicely because by now we all know my cutting skills aren't fabulous and you know that's fine um, I cut things out pretty quick because I have a lot of things to cut out and then as I use them I tend to tidy them up with, with the trimmer so I shall just go round them so that's that one And I'm just going to make these into my opening journal cards. So you can put just put the journal card in a pocket like normal. But it will be an opening one. Um, and you've got two, two writing spots. And that's what I do. I think it's the bottom one. I'm not caught. Um, that's what I do with, with a lot of them. I think it's, it's just better for the writing. I've got a lot more, a lot more room. Which 
sure I don't take any of the, the writing off. But yeah, I really do like these um, journal cards. Um, they're very, very nice. And I've even, you know, sometimes cut these these things out and and have used used them. Something up, just the bottom. So that's those four cut down. Let's get rid of this these little bits and I'm going to put my trimmer over there so I've got my corner round out and I'm going to do them on the 7 one now I'm going to do all four corners like so and I'm not going to put um, a tab on them or anything because I'm not sure how they're going to fit into a pocket um maybe i could put i don't know if it would work if you put a tab there no you'd probably have to have it at the at the top or at the the side but um yeah until i use them i won't bother and i have learned that if you put all your tabs on and then put them in like your storage tubs your tabs can get all bent up and stuff it's not so bad if you're doing um a tag and it's got like a material top that's fine but um yeah when you've got the tabs all you know at the top and at the side and like they can all get crushed up so i tend now not to put the tabs on until till i want them so we've got these four and of course i'm gonna ink around them <laughs> And like I say, I'm using the gathered twigs. I'm going to come in a bit just to, you know, so, so it's not totally noticeable that it's two. Oh, well, that gathered twigs goes really well with um, whatever Tracy Fox has already put, put on the digital. It's a very similar, similar colour. So I just grungy them up. So that's one. I'm going to pause. I'm going to do all um, the outside and I'm going to do the inside and the crease down the middle. So I shall see you in a little tick. Okay, so I've inked them all and as I was inking them, I know on the back there is quite a... A join so I've just put some uh, tape down there which I think finishes that off nice and then it just overlaps on the front a little bit and I'm thinking of adding some actual labels to the front even though there is labels in the digital kit I just think <coughs> it will you know give it some some dimension so just giving that a good rub down so then when I fold it um it bends nicely and doesn't pop pop off. Just cut around that. This is um Tim Holt's washi tape, so um I don't feel like I need to, to use glue as well. I find it's it's quite reliable. So that's that. So I think that gives it a bit of interest. And it uses a bit of washi. Not like I've got, I mean, I think I've got plenty of washi. Um, but when I've seen uh, other people's hordes of it, um, yeah, I, I think I've got about 10 rolls and I, I think that's enough. So <laughs> I think I want to use it all up. And then when I want some more, I shall just buy some Tim Holtz one because I do prefer that. And I do love the um, graph type looking ones. Very good just for adding a little bit in collage and things. And even when you've um, torn a bit of paper, um, 
you know like one of your journal pages and that you can just put a little bit of tape on it, it just looks like decoration so i think that's fine so we've done that bit um yeah so i thought i'll see if i can because there's a ruler thing there so obviously that's telling you you know how big the the plant is and things but i'm thinking if we can find a little little label it's probably too big but i could probably put that there and all i'm looking for is is just to give it some kind of dimension so i'm quite happy with that one going there i'm not going to put anything at the back it is only just oh this could be this glue could be absolutely blocked up let's um yeah and it is let me give it a good good pokey okay that's fine yep so pop that on that so that's that one let me pop my lid on me ink so put that there Let's trim this a little bit find for this one. I'm going to have to put I'll actually add that that there. Let's put that. And that's that one. <coughs> and then what can we put on this one? do that let's trim this top bit down okay so that's added a little bit of interest on the front and they've all been inked around in and out So inside, I've uh, printed these off on Manila card. So um, the you know the inside's nice enough, um, but I do have some of the craft paper what's on a sticker. So I think on two of them, I'm just gonna do you know of craft paper. And I'm obviously going to rip around it to to get a rough a rough edge. So let's measure that up. So I want it about there. Can I see that? Yeah, just. Hopefully there'll be enough for for both of them. So this is on my um, Amazon favourite list. So it is very handy. Um, if I do a misprint and that, um, <coughs> I often put my papers back in the printer um, and then sometimes I've got a tag what's got like a misprint at the back. And so I just rip some of this and cover, cover it over. It um, saves on using your tea stained papers and things like that so it's um it's quite a good a good thing to have so i'm just slightly ink around it and put that a rub Thank you. 
and I think just to add a little bit of interest inside I'm thinking I could either put a die cut which I really do like that or I was going to say I could put one of the round stamps on I wonder if I could do both yeah if I put that on in green so use the olive green that stays on <coughs> this is a little bit shiny so I think it, the stays on will be fine on it because it stays on <laughs> So you press that, oh I hope I've got a lot of ink on it. Yep, so that's that. And then I'm going to stick this down. I'm going to, let me get a little piece of vellum. Now, I'm gonna, I've not done this for a while, so I'll try it out again. Um, I was looking for ways, easier ways to stick the die cuts down, and I did do this one time. <laughs> I'll just put some on and then put my die cut over the top. And then stick it down. Let's get it straight. I think that's it. Did get most of them. I think it was just the 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 bottom that it didn't get. So that's one. I think I will have to go in with me. But yeah, I just find it so mind numbing just going up and down each each leaf. It's oof. so that's one. Quite happy with that. Um that's Slipping, slipping off um, screen. Oh, don't put your scissors in that. Right. So ink round these, and then I'll do something. Well, I think the other two I'm just going to leave in the Manila. Um, might do some script stamp on it. I mean, obviously, if you don't like this kind of scruffy look, you can, you know, measure mats out and, and things. But I, I think when you're doing botanicals, um, it's I like this kind of rustic, rustic look. Just gonna rip that off because it's just gone into the middle slightly. So that's that. Is that. I wonder if there's enough on there to do this. It's probably too dried now. But yeah, I think it worked better the first time I tried it. Yeah, it's, it's gone too sloshy, so I'll do it old fashioned way. But yeah, I think somebody said about putting the glue on your top of your hand and obviously once you've 
done one it's like well then you've got a really sticky sticky hand um, and I did buy one of those little glue pens but I didn't get on very well with that I felt like by the time I got to the bottom the top had dried um, and it just wasn't very st ooh, sticky <laughs> it's going to be green forever now isn't it my hands right pop that that so that's that that one so we've done two and i think you know that just takes them from boring to yeah they they're usable now uh, so that's those and these two i'm going to do them with some scripts i think um can't do it with the brown stays on. Don't get it on your mat on yet. Right, where's that plastic bag? Do you have to keep putting that on? I think you do, don't you? Protective in a cover. Do not discard yet. Yeah. Do not discard. That means do not throw it away. Let me get rid of this piece of vellum before it sticks on something. So yeah, I'm not doing that again. <laughs> uh, it was rubbish. So I think I'm still going to stick those down because I do want to get these die cuts used up before um, they get ruined. Um, Violet sends them very nice they're all like packaged lovely so they're not touching each other and as soon as I get them I'll rush to open them to put them in a little wallet and I shouldn't do that because they all then stick to each other um, so yeah some of them I'm going to have to um, undo from each other I just wanted putting that there, just for, just for, I don't know, <laughs> just to use it. So that's that. Um, I don't feel like I want one of those stamps down it. So, I don't know if to have another. Oh yeah, I could have two together, couldn't I? I don't have to have one each side. That's nice. Maybe I could have a little label just down here. Still really off screen. Okay. So we'll pop that there. So I'll leave that open while it, while it tries. Um, I shall do the other one similar. I wonder if there's any ink left on here. Oh, there isn't. I'm surprised that's dried so quick. <coughs> I'll just do this one with the Distress ink. Yep. Okay, let's just move those up there. Get some lids on. Like, it don't take long, does it, for everything to be everywhere? Um, put that over there. Right. So, um, let's see that. So they, that's broke, so I'm thinking if I take that off there. It's a 
little bit too long anyway. Let's see if I can find another broken one that I can... Oh dear, see that's all come off on one side. So I could probably go like so. Should we do them on that side? Yeah. It's funny how you just <coughs> always go to, to one side. Right, we've got a little bit more of that, and we still use it than the knot. So if I do that, let's just see if I can get a little bit of ink down it. Is that and what have I got here? I don't like that one. We just want a tiny one. Oh, I like one that there. <coughs> so that's that's what I shall do that there so that's four like double journal cards done I'll leave those to dry so I've got the <coughs> next four out and these have got the nice um, print inside there from Tracy's archive kit um, so I'm going to do the same thing just trim, trim around them straighten them up and then I will round, round the corners. Gosh, my, you can see as you're cutting it with the thing, how bad my cutting is. It's uh, really shocking. Let's just do that top bit. Sorry, I can hear a dog barking outside, so obviously Colin's got to, to get involved. That looks okay. But, um, oh, um, he's had a bit of a limp on and off and um, took him for his health check and they think that he's, he's got arthritis. But it's so weird because, I mean, I can't remember if it's seven this year or already seven, but... Like, he's still a baby. He, he still acts like a baby. Um, well, maybe that's because we baby him, but it's like, how can he be getting old? It, it feels like he's still a puppy. Time's gone so quick. Um, but Ryan was open this year because he obviously knew that, you know, he was getting older. And um, Ryan likes hill walking. Um, and we live near the, the Peak District, um, which is a national, um, you know, park. Um, and he kept saying, you know, this year we're going to be world, <laughs> lads world tour. <laughs> and he was, he was going to go up um, these mountains and stuff. And so it's looking like they're not going to be able to do it, which is really quite sad. I think Ryan's very sad about it. Um, but obviously now, every time Colin jumps up, he's like, sit down, Colin, you've got bad legs. Um, I'm trying to make this wider. I feel like I've just not got much um, room. As I was doing them, I'm like, off thing. All I've actually got is this bit bit of room. Sorry about that bit of light coming through. Um, my blinds just seem to have gone a bit skew with. I think that's not too off-putting. 
I might pause in a minute and see if I can mess about with the blinds. But the, the window's like behind my desk, so it's a bit hard for me to, to reach them. So I'm going to go all around these again. Um, so I will pause while I do this. I'll have a mess about with my blinds. And I think I'm going to lift the, lift the camera up a little bit. Because I feel as if I'm very too close. If I was doing just like collage and that, it would be okay being this close. But because I'm doing <coughs> a lot of different things and stretching for things, um, it's not taking a lot for me to be, be out of shot. So, I like the way that they look um, once they've been inked. So, I shall be back in a tick. So, they're all inked up. Again, I'm going to go down them with the with the wash tape this is a, a different one but i think it's like the same um tim Alt's one and this one looks as if it's a little bit wider it's got ooh, it's got music on it so i'll just trim around that i think i've sorted the camera out a little bit better i've raised it a little bit um I don't know, you know some days you put the camera on and you just wonder why it's in the wrong position and stuff. Um, but yeah, <laughs> it seems to be one of those days. And I've sorted the, the blind out, so hopefully it'll be fine. So I'll just go trim around these. Make sure that opens because I did that closed for some strange, strange reason. Cut that off. That's it. Let's do this one. And then again, I'm going to stick a, a label on, on the front. And if you was doing something like postcards, obviously you could put a stamp on there or some florals or something just to give it some, some dimension, a butterfly. Um, you know, I know we're all not going to be doing botanicals, but um, whatever theme you're doing it in, you can find something just to give it... Um, a bit of added added interest so let's um find something that says inserts oh i think i'll have a collected by so i've been really good and i've not been printing anything out and so i'm determined to make all the things that I've got already printed out into um, usable ephemera or embellishments or whatever because um, yeah I've got far too many things printed out what um, what you know if I was doing a project or something it it's like having naked ephemera it's um, yeah it just needed dressing dressing up a bit to make it um a little bit more more interesting and um i don't know about you but when i'm doing um a project i don't really want to stop to to decorate things and that i just want to make it um and i think that's why as well i do like making a lot of the ephemera and stuff so when i do do the file folders or journals or whatever you've you're then just having to choose what ephemera you want to put in because it's all it's all there ready for you um 
Oh, I quite like that. Even though it overlaps that a little bit, I like it. So, but it this way might you know might not suit suit you, but um, yeah, it definitely suits me. So that's that's a bit of interest on the front. Let's get some lids on and think about what we're going to do inside. So I think I'm going to put those vellum envelopes in. So that's I'm just hoping that they do now fit because I've rounded um, the corners off. So, hmm. Yeah, so they don't. So I'm going to save those for the next ones and I'm not going to round the corners. So I'm thinking about putting that down. Now, I was thinking about keeping it open but at the top, but are you really going to have anything sticking out? I don't think so. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to seal it or... I'm going to seal it round three sides and have it. No, because you don't want to be going at the back of there. Because um, I think it would just rip it. So I'm going to seal the whole the whole lot. So I will do it with the art glitter glue. Because once it's dry, you won't be able to see, see it. Um, I could have done it with the double-sided tape because I have got a few rolls that I have been trying to to use up, but I haven't. <laughs> I've not because I've just, just stuck it down. So that's that. Make sure that flap's properly stuck down because I don't want that ripping as you're putting things in and out. And let's just make sure these flaps are secure so I don't know if to put I mean I could put one each side really could I put down it because obviously I don't really want that oh okay so I'm thinking, I don't know if to just do like a small amount of collage here and then have that on top and then maybe stamp a uh, Tim Holtz thing here. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So I think if I'm doing that, I think I'm only going to do it on one side. So I hope all that made sense because, um, I, you know, I kind of had an idea what I was doing but not... Um, not fully it's just like these are the things that I want to to use because um, if I don't get well obviously you, you've got to get everything out before you start I can't just start wandering around hold on a minute I'm just looking for such and such so let's put that there um, right, what can I use for some collage? I've got some, some of the green decorative paper here. Let me just rip some off with the hair roller. Oh, Tanya, where are you? What are you doing? What's that? Well, it's upside down and back to front then. So, let's just put that back on there. I'm going to tear down this side. How much do I want about that much? Let's just rip the top off so we've got no um, straight edge. So if I pop that there, let's just take that little tail off. And I'm off screen again. Pop that there. Then put that over there let's just catch that bit there okay and let's glue this up ok 
Okay. Pop that there. Oh, let's just move the leaf so it's not not in the crease. Okay. Don't know what I'm doing with this side. I mean, I could, could possibly have a thing there. So I don't think it would make it too too thick. Let me just cut around here. I'll cut that tape. Okay. So that's that. I don't know if I've got anything that will fit it. So I don't know if you can see here. This is a printed out ephemera um journal cards on things so i wonder if these would affect yeah but are they going to get lost but i could put a tab on them when i use them and the tab would stick out which that would be fine could do with them being a bit thicker that's a bit thicker but it's not as as long Mm hmm see what else I've got. Ah, I've got these. That would be nice if... I'm talking to myself. That would be nice if these fit. Oh, perfect. So, yeah. Again, I'm not going to put a tab on, but when I do have to use them, I'm going to put the tab on there. So then if it's stuck down on a page and say that's a pocket at the back, then the little tab will be, be there. So that's that. So let me ink around this. I don't know how many I've got of these because I think I've used some in other things. And that's another thing I'm trying to do when I'm making things up, actually putting the the tags inside things ready um, and then it's it's ready to to go mm, I don't think I don't know if I've got any more of that oh I have I have so Okay, okay, oh, that was a good fit then. So, if I did put that here, I feel like it would need something there though. Looks like you don't want to really add anything, anything else. And hey, I've got quite a few of these. Um, little tags yeah I do feel like I'm going to need some more decoration in there but I don't want to make it super chunky so we've got a label on like that let's just stick that down Like so. Okay. So that's there, but it wants to go down a bit because we don't want it hanging out. Do we need anything else? Could we just have a number or what about the definition? Tree. I think that would work. Yeah. I'm going to do that. I mean, you know, I could have had a little um, side tuck, but then it's, you know, it's only a small thing. We don't want it that, that bulky. So let's get that as far across as we can. Like so. Let's take this 
these tags out. So if we put that in there, so a little bit across like that. Okay, I think that's already been, been inked. Is that one? Yeah. So they can go like that and then <coughs> I'm going to use the stays on and just put one of the Tim Holtz um, stamps on. So do I just want a number? I wonder about a circle and having a circle there and I feel like I want to do it in, in brown. So let's do this. Sounds like me in the morning. <laughs> My bones crackling. Right, let's get that straightish. Oh, I think that looks okay. And I'm saying once it's got the, the tab at the side, that's wonderful. So I'm gonna leave that out and I will leave that open just to just to dry. So yeah, like that. So let's do another. Let's do another. So I've got that, we want that, and put the glue all the way around. Like so, let's just cut these a little bit, not like it matters because we obviously collage over there anyway. Right, so that's that. I'll pick a card, any card. <laughs> that would really like to be pulled, wouldn't you? So that did. All right, pop that in, in there, like so. Then we want a little slot. We want another definition. We've got their heath. So I'll pop that there. Like so. That can go there. And that's why I do like to do a couple of the same thing because it's we've already you know, just sat here thinking how to place it all. So why wouldn't you make a few few of the same all? Because uh, you've, it, it's just quicker. Because um, it just take time uh, thinking about where to place things and, and stuff. And if it's only for a one-off, um, yeah, it can be quite time consuming. So I do like, Yep. I seem to either do six or something or four or something, but I think four is more manageable. So that's that. I mean, how quick was that? Let's um, rip that. Rip that. I've got a bit of thingy here. Rip that. Let's just give this a bit of a ink. Like so. Not there. I think that's going to be too long. Pop it down. Pop it down. Like so. <coughs> I'm going to put it the opposite way actually. And see if I can put a fern on because they're the ones that are getting damaged more than more than the others. So pop that on there. Yep. So after I've done this one, I will pause for a minute while I just do the other two because I don't think you want to see me do any more of the same one. 
and then we'll look at what we can do with the others. So that's that. Then we we'll put a stamp on it, don't we? Is that it? Yeah. Wow. that over here to dry right I shall see you in a few minutes so I did those four the same well I didn't the last one um I did with the corner pocket so so that's them and the last four so I'm not going to um round off the corners and I'm going to be very careful how much I take off because I do want those envelopes um, to fit so that's straight really one cake <coughs> I do hope these envelopes fit but I can't have them <laughs> these one cake just so the envelopes fit okay so let's get rid of that have a look. Yes. So I am going to leave that side open. Um, so I don't want to glue that side. I'm going to go like so and stick that there. I'm not in the corner, am I? In the, you know, the doobie, the middle. So that's that. So we've got an envelope there, and once it dries, we'll have a, a thingy magic tuck at the back, or a pocket at the back. So that's that one. Um, I shall ink around in that when after I'm just um, I've seen how long <clears throat> I've been on for so we we'll put this here like so Thing. in a minute I will pause again I will ink all around and um, I'll stick something on the front like I did the other ones this might be a little bit too too wide I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it get it out that's that same thing when you've not inked it, it does help you be able to see uh, the edges. It's not, it's not really hanging over. It does look as if it is hanging over, but it's not 
it's not really when you close it so that will be fine it's just ink it glue that bit down it does look a bit wonky but that might just be if you see the um pattern um that's wonky and that'll be just how i've put the paper in well the card in the printer um, I'm terrible for getting it wonky. Or my printer's terrible for getting it wonky. One or the other. I don't know. don't know whose fault it, it is. So yes, I will ink. I will put something on the front. I will put something down the spine part. Um, and while I'm doing that, I shall think what I'm going to do with it. Because I've not thought, <laughs> not thought about it. I was unsure if these was going to fit, fit in or not. Let's just check all those. I'm afraid to think that one's okay. That's fine. Let's do that. What have we got to go, go inside? How big are those? No, they're too big. That's a shame. They would look lovely in there. I might put more of these in for a decent size. Yeah. But then again, they'd have been a decent size for. I don't think they would. I don't think keeping them open was a good idea, actually. I think I'm just going to seal them. Okay, right, I'll be back in a tick. Okay, I've inked all around them. I've put um, this number tape on and then I've put a label on all of them. So the two what are blank inside, I am just going to go round with um, the distressing. I am only going to go round um, the sides because I'm going to put some of the craft sticky paper um, just in this middle bit as a writing spot. Because I thought if you put one or two tags in the envelope, um, you probably don't want a pocket over the other side. Otherwise, it's going to get too, too bulky. So, obviously, these can still go inside of a pocket like a normal tag. Or, like I say, they can be stuck down and be an actual pocket. You could put a little bit of Velcro on uh, to keep it, keep it down. Um, I think after, you know, if you, oh, I can't think of the word, pressed it down, um, it would stay, stay down. Right, um, I don't think any of these are going to be any good. So I'll stick that in my scrap box. Let's, um, just going to get another couple of cards out just to put in those envelopes. I've got four cards out. I'll just give them a bit of a ink round. So I can go in there. So it, it just goes to show there's you know absolutely loads of things you can do just with two things joined together and like I say if they're not joined together you can join them together yourself um i like doing things with these i think you can come up with with lots of things and obviously you can make it a lot more complex you can have you know things coming out or things coming down um you can do lots of things with that So that's those inked round. I think next we will get the 
craft uh, paper down. So Polly wants to be down that. Probably going to need two lots. So let's get that ripped down. This is better as well if you rip it. I found when I do cut it, um, it's a bit hard to, to peel off the back, but um, when you rip it, it's a lot, it's a lot easier. I don't know why, but it just does. So let's just get some ink around these sides. Like so. So that's one. It's gonna fit. Oh, that's a bit more. Yeah. So I'm gonna dump some more ink. As soon as I said it's easier to peel. It's the first time it's not wanted to peel off. I will just decorate one up and we will call it a day because it's been a very long video but you know I've got 12, 12 of these done um, so I think that's pretty good I've got 12 you know ready made pieces to pop in wherever I want to pop it into <laughs> that's that let's hope it's not gonna even though it's not so let's decorate one um i obviously want to use one of these so i'm thinking it's, it's too too long let's just so i will take that bottom piece off and I'll glue that there. I think it's going to be all twisted actually. Let's have a look. So I'll probably have to pop a bit more glue down in a while. So that's that. Um, I can just, uh, just, just did really want a stamp on there, but I could put one of the um, one of the Tim Holtz numbers on there. So let's put that there. So that's straight. Yeah. So let's get one of his numbers. Oh, I like this one. And I'm gonna go for the for the brown. And I think I'm gonna have it up there. Yeah, I like that. 
so that's what I'm going to do for for all of them um so thank you very much for joining me i hope i've given you a few few ideas and like i say you can adapt it to to whatever theme uh you're doing it in and say i'm really chuffed with them the nice little pieces now so i shall see you very soon bye for now